you're a short hitter of the golf ball and you're struggling to break 90 in golf. In this video, I'm gonna give you some simple golf tips to try and help you break 90 more regularly or even better, every time. Not only are these golf tips simple, but they are backed up with stats from the guys at ShotScope. Let's get straight into it. First tip to help you lower your scores and break 90 in golf more often. Did you know there is a direct correlation in distance you can hit the golf ball to what handicap you're likely to be? Check out these driving distance averages and handicaps. So to become a break 90 shooter in golf more often, you need to be getting your drives over a playing average of 220 yards. And before you say it, yeah, but if I hit it further, I'll just hit it more in the trouble. Ah, yes, well, that might well be true, but this simple golf tip is gonna make you hit the golf ball longer and straighter. It's the key to good golf, strike. Where you hit the golf ball on the club face. Strike is king for everybody in golf. Some of you might already know this, which is great. So this is just a simple reminder, but for the others out there, this is an important golf lesson. Go and practice strike. Here's two strikes on my face. One's a little low heel, and one's a bit toey. I tried to swing those exactly the same, but just changed strike location. And look what it did to the ball flight. That toe causing more of a draw, that heel causing a bit more of a fadey shot. Now, if you get one more towards the middle of your face and start reducing those curvatures, for those golfers out there looking to hit it a little bit further, less curvature is gonna make that ball go further. So here's a few things to take away from strike practice. Every golfer is gonna be different. Some of you are gonna be slicing the golf ball. Some of you are gonna be hitting it straight anyway. Some of you are gonna be drawing it. You need to find a strike location that's gonna make your ball flight go straighter. So if you're a slicer, for instance, you're probably hitting it more towards the heel of the club. Go and practice. And sometimes it's literally as simple as telling yourself or asking yourself the question, can I hit it off the toe? Get down the range, try it on the course when you're just having a little practice round next time. Try and move your strike to a different part of the face. So I'm gonna try and hit the toe here. I might start standing a little bit further away. I might start lowering my hands a little bit. So when I return them, that handle raises up, that club head comes a bit closer. A couple of simple tips there for you to maybe go and try. But sometimes, and a lot of the time in my lessons, I just ask someone to move it and they can do it. Toe side of the um, club face, and this will probably draw a little bit more for me. Wind's pretty strong off the right as well today. So that just overdrew a smidge. Find the strike location that gets you hitting the golf ball as straight as possible. Like I said, it might be different for everyone. Number two, this isn't so much related to distance, but definitely something that you need to think about. When practicing strike, if you hit it off a certain part of the face and you see some curvatures or a straighter ball flight, use that as a weapon. If you're a short hitter, you cannot be losing golf balls. If you've got trouble down the left, trouble down the right, and you can move strike, then you'll be able to start moving that golf ball away from the danger. For instance, that last shot that's drawn away, if I've got out of bounds all down the right, this hole even has a massive drop off and loads of long grass down the right, the best miss is left. I'm gonna be trying to find the toe of the face all day long and moving my ball away from danger, reducing the amount of lost balls. Because if you're a short hitter, you cannot be going and losing loads of golf balls, I promise you. Simple golf tip number two. If you don't start hitting the golf ball a little further, it will mean you've got further into the greens on your approach play, which will mean your proximity is bigger on your approach shots, which will mean less greens in regulation hit, more up and downs needed, and probably more free putts happening. Not the best of mixes. I've always liked this analogy, and Mark Crossfield always uses it. 
you're gonna be like a duck paddling underwater. On the surface, you look calm and like it's a breeze, but under the water, their legs are flapping and going like crazy trying to make them move. If you're a short hitter, that's exactly what you're having to do on the golf course. You're having to play perfect approach shots chip and putt really well, never free putt. You're frantically working really, really hard. Whereas the longer hitters are getting it down there and once they're in play and keeping it in play, they've got less club in, it's less effort to get it as close to the hole, less chances of free putting. More greens and regulations hit, like it just makes sense. But approach play, if you find it hard to gain more distance, either by working on swing techniques or like my first tip at practicing strike, then let's get skilled at understanding what lie can do to affect your approach shots. If you want to start breaking 90 more often, you need to get your greens and regulation stat above 20%. Me and Mark did a golf school in Canada recently. And this was one of the things that stood out to me over the two days and constantly stood out. I'm sure I would have done this tip before, but being able to read lie is so important. If I'm a shorter hitter and I'm trying to hit my hybrid here from this lie from 160 to the green, I need to have serious words with myself because that lie is not good. Yes, a hybrid will cut through the grass easier, etc., etc. but that is sat right down. Things that I was seeing, People with these sorts of lies would catch the ground way before the ball, top it along the ground, lose loads of distance. When you're out practicing on your own, chuck some balls down and see what your limits are. Ask yourself the question. The more you ask yourself these questions, the more you'll have answers. And if I was to stand up behind this ball, that on the camera might not even look that bad, but that sat down, I could probably get a six iron out of that to get maximum distance. Once I start getting to fours, hybrids, woods, fairway woods, I know that my percentages are going down. Analyze your lie before you hit it. Don't just think, oh, this is my hybrid distance, I've got to use it. No, get this ball as close to the green as possible. Even if you think you can reach the green, your margins will be going down if you're trying to hit long hybrids woods out of these scruffy lies. And these scruffy lies can be on the fairway too. Just because you're on the fairway, which means I've got a nice lie. No, it doesn't. You can be on a down slope. You could be on a slight bare patch with a tuff behind you. All these situations, you need to get good at reading and understand what your limits and margins are. Go and practice out of these lies, people. I promise you, it will make a difference to your golf game how many greens in regulation you start hitting and you'll start to lower those scores. That's on the green. Simple tip number three. Again, if you aren't going to do things to start hitting the golf ball further, you're gonna to have to make your short game fire. Average proximity from 50 yards and in is 18 feet for a 15 handicap. A 10 handicap is 14 feet. So work out which part of your short game is poor. Is it pitching? Is it the small shots around the green? Is it bunkers? And work hard to improve it. As I don't know which area you need to improve and there's loads in short game, I'll tag some videos in the description I'll even put some in the corner of the video up the top of the screen here. And you can pick which ones you need to watch for more specific information. Final tip, number four. You have to get better at putting. Please stop three putting. The thing I find with golfers trying to break 90 is the hole is never over. For example, a low handicap has a bad hole. They hit a few ropey shots, but once they're on the green, I feel confident they're going to do nothing wrong and not three putt. Whereas higher handicaps, the hole is never over. You can hit two of the best shots of the day onto a par four, but a three putt is always around the corner. Don't be that golfer. People not breaking 90 average seven holes per three putt. 
stop three putting. So work on some distance control and holding out. Get on the putting green, put at home, at the office, wherever. A great drill that I love to do just on your own is the one club length drill. Put yourself outside of 10 feet each time and vary the length. How many in a row can you get inside a putter length? Add another game for holding out. How many two putts can you make in a row? This will really start to focus your practice and start getting rid of those three putts. This will really focus your practice to get rid of those three putts. Please stop three putting. So there you have it, how to break 90 for short hitters. If you're not gonna add length to your game, the rest of your game has to be on top form. If you do all four things, improve that driving distance, improving approach play, short game putting. I'll see you in the How to Break 80 Club very soon. Thanks all for watching. If you're enjoying the video and the content, make sure you hit that big red subscribe button, hit the thumbs up and turn that bell notification on so you don't miss any of my new uploads. Thanks very much for watching. See you in the next one.